Spencer here, really, for the last couple of weeks. Very experienced in the Sheik matchup. Gets a lot of that here at Sanity. All right, great reaction to uh, the tech to the right on the platform there by Polish. Doing a good job so far, keeping Clown uh, <coughs> kind of on his heels. All right, Clown has a chance to get center stage back. Doesn't get too much percent out of it. Polish did a good job of getting to the ledge right there. That was a, a very fast uh, input. <laughs> Polo shakes his head. He knows that that grab uh, could have been prevented. Or avoided, rather. Gonna fall to the ledge, but Clown makes it back. Nair is gonna cover that option. So Polo will take the lead. Clown has been doing all right getting grabs so far. If he can get another one, he, he could possibly uh, even this game up. Great down tilt right there. Very well spaced. All right. Clown seals that edge guard after uh, great spacing using wave dash back down tilt. Smart by Polish to uh, choose to float uh, above the ground in order to avoid the horizontal needles that Clown was charging. Uh, we'll definitely see a lot of that throughout this set. That's a big uh, aspect of this matchup. And Polish is very familiar with it. All right, both players right there really just looking to find a uh, stray hit to get something started. Peach is one of those characters that with Sheik, getting a stray hit is sometimes just the best you can do. And you have to settle for that. That was a great down air by Polish. Uh, <coughs> setting up perfectly into the Nair. Which will allow for these turnips to seal that stock away. Dead even here. Ooh. Really well uh, placed back airs right there. Looked like he was almost expecting Clown to air dodge. Which is definitely not a very common recovery choice. Though it, though it is a viable mix-up for sure. Good defensive play by Polish. Uh, even when Clown is pressuring him from below the platform, he knows to just uh, jump out of shield and uh, float and put a down air below him so that the hitbox will uh, prevent Clown from getting up too close. And Polish is going to take game one. That looks good for Polish, but, but Clown uh, is certainly um, not out of this. It also looks very good. That game. All right, Clown really uh, trying to get a lot out of this platform, but the two of them are really just kind of been trading back and forth on it. But this platform is actually still. It's the second time uh, he's been able to use it. Uh, <laughs> Off of a grab. Well spaced fl uh, float cancel Nair. Right outside of Sheik's tilt range. And that's gonna set up an edge guard. Polish definitely wants to get some extra percent on, but has no reason to commit too hard. With this advantage, you might as well just play, play more defensive. All 
Still gonna live off of that forward air. But floating off the stage, uh, Clown's gonna reach out there with the back air and get him. That 44% could actually be a bit uh, daunting later on. And now that it's just kind of added on, <laughs> that stock that stock was over pretty fast. Ooh. I don't know if that, that forward air was a read, but he definitely positioned that in a uh, very unique spot in order to land it. Okay. Clown only able to get jabs off of the uh, down throw to land on platform. Uh, Polish had an opportunity to edge guard there, but allowed himself to get hit by the uh, first poof. Polish is shaking his head a lot right now. I guess uh, that's not that uncommon for Polish, though. He's definitely animated. Very expressive while he plays. All right, that back air finally going to take that stock, but Polish is still sitting pretty with a stock ahead. Clown definitely wants to be more picky about his engagements here, but he really can't allow himself to <coughs> to trade blows with Polish much more. Good tech. Keep himself on stage. All right, Zelda's going to have to come out. I don't know if that's even... Yeah, that's not enough. So, congrats to Polish. Going 2-0 over Clown. Clown didn't look bad, though. I'd say he, he still played very well. <laughs> 